an overnight glue, a bit of scraping and planing, and we've got our board. We were, well, I was a lucky SOB right here when I was just planing it down, just uh, the width of a cat's cocker. It was a gem up and it dug in hard, but luckily we don't need that bit. Luckily, the template fits over there. So what we need to do now is everywhere that there's a center point, I'm gonna uh, use a really small drill bit and drill it out. What this will allow me to do is, when I transfer this template to this wood, I'll be able to uh, tap a little pin in here, and this will give me the center point that I need. So, let's take it to the drill press, drill these out, mark the template up, and then we'll get to roughing out. So we've taken it over to the drill press, and we've done every one of our center points for our circles. Um, what we're gonna do next is uh, use a hammer and a small nail and that'll allow us to mark out our center points because it's not going to matter if we mark the board underneath uh, because we're going to be drilling into it later. We've got a couple of options. After we've traced out the outline on here we can keep this board on. It's only held on by a uh, double-sided tape and we can cut it out and that'll give us a sort of an, another good guide visually as to where we're cutting. Um, it might also help later on when it comes to sanding it because then we'll have a sort of guide at which to go up to. It's not going to be totally critical um, whether this is on or off uh, because you've already drawn a line anyway so you can go up to it. Um, so we'll put the center points in, mark it out, take it to the bandsaw and cut it out. Now it's all bandsawed out. <clears throat> Got a couple of options. There's a couple of areas I can't really get into. You see it here. Um, so it's kind of, it's gonna have to be a file job or maybe a chisel job. And then I've got these areas here. Um, that is gonna be a coping saw job and a bit of filing again, the same as how I did it with the template. Um, some of this, I think I'm gonna get my quarter inch router out and give it a whirl. You can see it's a bit dicey. I've, had, I've done this a couple of times where I've uh, used a slightly thinner template and uh, it's the double-sided glue just, uh, sorry, double-sided tape just hasn't really stuck down that well. And what usually happens is the, uh, the bearing running on it just kind of either slips up or slips down and cuts in. So uh, I'll give that a shot first. See how it goes, take it nice and slow, nice and easy. Might have to clamp up some of these areas on the fly and uh, just ensure that it's good. And then I'll probably take it over to the uh, disc sander and the belt sander.
this is a good spot to look at. So where I've been trying to use the chisel to uh, take out some of these sharper corners and really get in there using that and a Stanley knife, this is a little difficult. If you decide to go in this way, what you'll end up doing is, because the grain runs down this way, is you'll eventually get to a point where it'll start to try and peel along the grain and pull it apart. Now, you can come in and go down and shear the grain that way and then clean up this edge here. The only difficulty is that, I mean, I'm, I'm quite lucky because I have a decent set of chisels, quite an extensive set of chisels of all varying shapes and sizes. But you get to a certain point and because of the shape of it, you can't get in any further. Now, not everybody has got a four mil or three mil chisel to be able to get right into this slot. So if you come to this point here, just be aware that your green, if you come in from this way, could split. Um, so you're probably better off just taking your sweet time and just taking away piece by piece by piece and slowly creeping up on the edges of this and then use uh, either sandpaper, files, or, you know, rasps, small rasps if you've got them, and just get it right down. It's probably a lot easier than uh, the risk of tearing your grain out. If you are going to use the template as a guide for also sanding, um, what you might want to do is, as you can see, I've just taken a knife and just sheared a little bit of the side of that pencil off. Now, this is quite a soft pencil. And I'm doing it with one hand. But if you give it a little bit of pencil on the edge of the template, then when it comes to you sanding, say if you're using emery boards or such, if you lean too much over one side, you're going to see, oh, if I can get it to focus, you can see that it's starting to smear off. So what that'll allow you to do is not only will it let you know that you're on bang on the money when you start doing it because you'll start to see the pencil going away but also let you know if you're tilting too much over this way if you're tilting too much over this way you're going to recognize anyway because this edge is just going to disappear um so yeah a little bit of pencil on here and that should help to keep you smack on target 